This morning, the IRS is accused of not following the law that comes that claims come from the nation to the top government archivist. He testified before a congressional committee looking into the agency's targeting of conservative groups. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where Republicans are investigating the failure of a computer used by IRS executive Lois Lerner. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. The head of the Federal Archives testified that the IRS was supposed to notify his office three years ago when Lois Lerner's hard drive crashed because some of the emails that were lost may have constituted official records. But both he and a former IRS lawyer also testified about just how antiquated the IRS's computer system was. Yes or no, please. You're, you're a hostile witness. Yes or no. Jennifer O'Connor was brought into the IRS for six months last year to help oversee the collection of documents for congressional investigators. She says the team only discovered after she left that a swath of learners' past emails were missing. You're telling us you did not have any inclination that a bunch of Lois Lerner's emails were lost. I did not know that her emails were missing and unrecoverable and that there had been a laptop crash that had caused that. Okay. I didn't know. David Ferriero, the head archivist for the U.S. government, testified that technology at some agencies is so outdated they can't store important emails electronically, so they have to print them out. The federal government has had significant and long-standing challenges with records retention, especially that of emails. From the very beginning of the government, this is not just a, a, an email problem. This is a records management problem. You can't erase emails. Not today. They've gone through too many servers. They can't say they've, they've been lost. That's like saying the dog ate my homework. When George W. Bush was president, it was Democrats who were furious when the administration lost millions of emails related to several investigations. I will admit it. You know, there was, we screwed up. And we're trying to fix it. But Republicans still insist the IRS is hiding something. And after three fiery hearings in five days, so in I'm not all a hostile witness. Oh, yes, you are. House Speaker John Boehner pointed directly to the White House. He said that he would fully cooperate, he and his administration. They've not only not fully cooperated, they haven't done a damn thing to help us get to the truth of what really happened. The IRS says it has spent nearly $10 million trying to get Congress the information it wants, and its computer system has now been upgraded so that important emails are stored indefinitely. All right, Nancy, thank you.